Yellow. A daughter complained to her father that her life was miserable and that she did not know what she was going to do, how she was going to make it. She was tired of fighting and struggling all the time. It seemed that just as one problem was solved, another one soon followed. Her father, a chef, took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each over a fire. When the water began to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot, eggs in the second pot, and ground beans in the third. He then let them boil for a while without saying a word to his daughter. The daughter moaned and waited impatiently, wondering what her father was doing. After 20 minutes, he turned off the burners. He took the potatoes and eggs out of the pot and then placed them in different bowls and pouring the coffee into a cup. Turning to her, he asked, What do you see? Potatoes, eggs, and coffee, she quickly replied. Look closer, he said, and touched the potatoes. She did and noted that they were soft. He then asked her to take an egg and break it. After removing the shell, she observed the hard-boiled egg. Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean, she asked. He then explained that the potatoes, eggs, and coffee had each faced the same adversity, boiling water. However, each one reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard, and unrelenting, but in boiling water, it became weak and soft. The egg was fragile with the thin outer shell protecting its liquid interior until it was put into boiling water. Then, the inside of the egg became hard. However, the ground coffee beans were unique. After being exposed to the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Which are you? He asked his daughter. When adversity knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? When one is bullied with no one to turn to, no one to talk to each day, plunged into turmoil, left powerless with their sense of self falling further and further, how does one go about the pain they are experiencing? When no answer but revenge is placed upon their grasp, instantly they are lit with the other pole of their status inequality, power. And each time they think about it, it drenches their brain. There is no justification for the evil following, but with a colder glance, we begin to understand that it was simply cause and effect, nothing, no glimmer of light, no glimmer of hope to deter its course. On the other hand, the same adversity, if not more so, when given a way to channel its suffering, when given light, hope, when given an oasis for the soul to reside, that same harsh path could become a pillar to a man capable of shaking up the world. Observing Habib Nurmagomedov, his world, a plane torn by constant conflict between terrorist groups and military tension, his father, Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov, forged an oasis through martial arts. Not a place to partake in the tension, but to channel, thus relieve the energy formed from it. When the world got hard for Habib Nurmagomedov, this is what his heart did. This here is what it did to his heart. Going on charity ventures for people suffering, playing soccer with a disabled child. When thrown into a ruthless world, the right glimmer of hope made his mind strong and cold, but his heart warm and soft. When you understand this, you understand that there is always a way to transmute your own suffering. Even if life does not give you the rope to pull yourself up, even if there is not one anywhere you look. Habib Nurmagomedov's father, Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov, he shows us that if you are willing to make better, more of the world around you, please look no further than the good you see within yourself. With two hands as forged for your vision, from there, all you have to do is share. And I promise good will come, not just for you, but all else.
will see and need the same oasis. Until next time, peace.